This video is sponsored by Boombox, the ultimate file storage and collaboration platform for music makers like you. Stick around to the end of the video to learn more. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to completely start from scratch with your Logic Pro projects. So maybe you're working with a co-writer, a fellow musician, or maybe you're working on a mix or a production for a client, and the client has already done their own mix, and you just wanna wipe everything out and start from scratch. That's what I'm gonna show you how to do in this video. Now, the idea for this video came from Derek here. I just wanna give him a shout out. He says, my friend, and I have recently shared entire projects with each other to perform alternate mixes. I use the project alternatives to do this, but is there a way to start over? It took me over 30 minutes to do it for a 100 track project. Derek, I'm gonna show you how to do this in about five minutes as opposed to 30 minutes. And I've got a fairly comparably sized project here. So the very first thing you really wanna do here is you want to go up to file and then go down to project alternatives and create a new project alternative. I've already done this. Here's my original mix. And then here's my scratch mix. That is a new alternative. You want to do this just in case you need to go back to that original mix for some reason. What you can do is you can switch back and forth between the original mix and your new mix within the same project without having to make a copy of your logic project. The next step for me is I determine whether I want to keep the track stacks in the project or not. If not, I recommend flattening all of the stacks first because this is going to make some of the other steps a little easier. So select all of your track stacks, go up to track, select flatten stack. And then if you have stacks inside of other stacks like I do, keep going up to flatten stack or press shift command U until that option goes away. So now what you can see here is we just have 61 individual channels along with some aux channels, but we'll deal with those in just a moment. The next thing you wanna worry about is your automation. You can see I've got quite a bit of automation in this project. The vast majority of it is track automation, but there is some region automation in here as well. Now there is a very easy way to delete all track automation, but this is only going to affect the track automation. So first ask yourself, do you wanna keep the region automation or not? If you do, just go up to mix, delete automation, delete all track automation, and that'll delete all of your track automation while leaving your region automation. If you want to also delete your region automation, I recommend selecting all of your tracks in the tracks area. Just hold shift and select them all. Then go up to mix, convert automation, and then go to convert all region automation to track automation. So any region automation is going to be transformed into track automation. Then we can go back to mix, delete automation, delete all track automation. And now we have no automation in our project whatsoever. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to press X to open up the mixer and we want to get rid of effects plugins and sends. Maybe you wanna get rid of your instruments as well, any MIDI effects. The quickest way to do this is just to press Command A in the mixer to select all of the tracks and then go up to setting and you can select reset channel strip. That's gonna get rid of everything in the mixer, effects plugins, MIDI effects instruments, pan volume sends, etc. In a lot of situations, you may not want to get rid of your instruments, but you wanna get rid of all of the effects. To do that, go up to setting, remove all effects plugins. So that'll remove all of the effects plugins in the mixer. It may take just a moment to get rid of those. And then if you wanna get rid of all your sends, do the same thing, go up to setting, remove all sends, and that'll just get rid of the sends while still preserving the instruments. And by the way, removing effects plugins will also get rid of any MIDI effects that you have. Okay, next up, let's deal with some of the routing here. So because these were all in track stacks before, you can see a lot of these channels are being routed to buses. Some of them even have inputs that are buses. With everything selected, just click on the output go to stereo output, that'll set all of them to the stereo output. And now if I wanna reset all of the volume faders, I can just hold option and click on one of them to reset those. Option click on the pan knobs as well to reset those. And while everything is selected, you can even change this over to balance if you want or change it over to stereo pan if you want. So now the mixer's pretty much wiped out and you're ready for a fresh mix. But there is one more thing we need to do here. Actually, a couple more things we need to do. Because we deleted all of our track stacks, we flattened the track stacks, there are still going to be some track stack aux tracks in here, along with any aux tracks that you might have created for time-based effects. Effects. To get rid of these, only show your aux tracks in the mixer by 
deselecting each of these options up here except for aux. And so this is only going to show auxiliary channel strips in the mixer. What you can do with all of these selected is press delete. That will only delete the aux tracks. And then when I go back and show the rest of these types of tracks, you'll see that they're all back in the mixer. And so now we're pretty much ready for a fresh mix. But if you have any like flex time or flex pitch in the original project, just click here to show your flex, select all of the tracks that have flex, and then just deselect flex on those tracks. If you want to completely reset your flex time, what you'll have to do, let's say, you know, let's say we have some markers in here like this. What you'll have to do is you'll have to show flex on all of the tracks, select all of those tracks, then just right click or control click at the top and select reset all flex edits. And that'll take you back to square one. Then you can turn off flex and then hide flex. And now we just have a raw multi-track session and we're ready to mix. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. Now, a quick word from today's sponsor, Boombox. Boombox is the ultimate file storage and collaboration platform for musicians, bands, artists, producers, and mixing engineers. I use it all the time to receive projects from my clients using custom inboxes. When I'm done with the mix, I add it to Boombox and invite my clients as collaborators where they can leave time-stamped feedback on their tracks. Then I take all of these mix revisions, dial in a new mix, and then repeat the process until the project is finished. With Boombox, you can even create your own custom artist page to share your music with the world. Link up with over 60,000 users already on the Boombox platform. If you're looking for co-writers, musicians, and collaborators, or mark yourself for hire if you're looking to get paid gigs. If you want to check out Boombox for yourself, head over to boombox.io today and sign up to get four gigabytes of free storage or upgrade to one of their pro or premium plans for additional storage and pro features. A big thanks to Boombox for sponsoring this video, and thanks for watching.